and I have put my mask on, but this is only going to be for 15 seconds that I've put my mask on. And this is a case of do as I say, not as I do. And we would be very grateful if you would have your mask on during the, the concert. We did request this uh, when we sent out the information. It's just for protocol and we all want to feel safe. So thank you for doing that. Now I'm going to take this off and you'll be able to hear me. <laughs> especially as the wind blows in and the music goes all over the, all over the floor. Um, the program today consists of the full ensemble here, bookending the concert. In between, we have smaller groups from within the ensemble presenting a number of works. But we are especially pleased to welcome our guest artists today, the Archie Spring Quartet, of which two members are up here, and Ellie Molitanis, our oboe player, oboe soloist, and we want to wish them a very welcome. Thank you. So our first piece features the entire chamber ensemble. It is the overture to Wheels and Herbert by the French composer Gabriel Faure. It was originally an orchestral suite that he took from incidental music that he provided for a theatrical entertainment which was commissioned by uh, Albert I, Prince of Monaco in 1919. Here is the overture arranged for a chamber ensemble as you see above. Now, however, we don't have many bassoons in this part of the world. And, um, our viola players and cello players uh, dutifully offered to provide the bassoon part. So, um, and they do a fine job of it as well. So thank you violas and cellos for doing the bassoon part. <laughs> the overture to Mars and Bergamos by Gabriel Ford. Thank you. 
Thank you.
1773 was yet another German composer. He was a very fine flute player, and he uh, uh, he composed literally hundreds of flute sonatas and concertos, and he wrote a treatise on flute performance, admirably titled "On Playing the Flute." <laughs> That's true. Our three flute players of the uh, Lecture Parlour Community Orchestra, Christine Philipson, Colin Glenn, and Kate Kelso, have been rehearsing this sonata in D major for three flutes. It's in four movements, and uh, once again, just please refrain your rapturous applause until, as you did before, until the end of the fourth movement. The Quartz Sonata in D major for three flutes.
Johannes, Christostomos, Wolfgangus, Theophilus, Mozart. <laughs> what a mouthful. I'm so glad it was abbreviated to Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Although I'm not sure where the Amadeus came from. But anyway, Mozart, of course, is considered one of the truly great composers. And in his brief lifespan, which lasted from 1756 to 1791, only 35 years, he composed over 600 works, including 41 symphonies, 22 operas, 27 piano concertos, and that's just for starters. So how the hell did he have time to eat and sleep? I just, I've been puzzling that for years. Anyway, our three clarinetists have prepared this divertimento in B flat, the clarinet trio. And like the previous piece by Kant, it has been, it was uh, coached by our principal clarinetist, Suzanne Walker. It is in four movements, just like that one, so I've just refrained from until the last movement of the B-Bot The Mozart Divestimento in b plan by Edith uh, Fried. Thank you. 
whose music would make a lasting impression internationally. And he was awarded or honored in 1884 by Tsar Alexander III and awarded a lifetime pension, which he was able to enjoy for nine years. But he composed 11 operas, with his most famous one being Eugene Onyegin, which is based on the verse novel by Pushkin. Our next piece is taken from an aria at the end of Act Two. In the opera, it would be sung by the character of Lenski and sung by a tenor. Now, Lenski is a good friend of Onyegin, but Lenski has just challenged his good friend Onyegin to a duel over their desire for Tatiana, the sister of Lenski's fiance. Everybody following the plot so far? Yes. Lenski's aria is a self-reflection on his reckless decision to request the duel, knowing full well that he would lose. The music itself is very powerful and intense and can stand on its own merit without the lyrics. Guy Brownstein took the aria and reworked it for solo violin and piano, and it was later arranged for flute and piano, and now Ellie has taken that version and reworked it for oboe and piano. I have it on very good authority that this is probably the second performance of this version in Mexico. The first was yesterday. <laughs> Koskis, Eugene, Ogegin, Ellie Molotov.
Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we come to our last piece. And um, first of all, before we perform that, which there are some people that we'd like to thank. Yes, yeah, certainly our guest artist, the Archie Strip Quartet and Ellie Monotonis, who have just been wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. 